Arjuna asks, um, in addition to what is Shaitram and Shaitrajnam, what is Jnanam? In other words, who is considered a wise man or wise person? In the next few verses, Bhagavad Gita is defining that. And I'll start with the first two, verses 7 and 8. Krishna starts by saying humility. That's the first thing mentioned. Straightforwardness. Patience. Honesty. Service to Guru. Many of us don't even have a Guru. If we don't, we can use some of the the uh, renowned sages as our gurus the person the we define who we define as guru does not have to be someone who you meet on a regular basis service to guru physical hygiene and commitment to anything that we undertake the next verse starts with Indriyarteshu Vairagyam. So, these bodily pleasures having determination not to pursue them. Vairagyam. No ego. And then, understanding the insignificance of birth, death, happiness and sorrow and illnesses, diseases. So, understanding the insignificance of those. In other words, first we have to uh, know that it, they are considered insignificant. Then we have to understand that they are actually insignificant. So these are some of the things that constitute wisdom. There are more, but today we will stop there. But that reminded me when I was in my 40s, I once went back to India and my mother was still alive at that time. She was in her 70s, late 70s perhaps. Seeing her son was, you know, I'm in my 40s. 40s men are uh, invincible. They, can, they think that uh, uh, nothing can affect them in this world. She must have thought that I need some guidance. So she said to me, please go to this particular shop near the Ramakrishna Mutt. Mailapur, Chennai, and buy me copies of Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, and if there is Tamil versions of translations of Veda. When you do that, why don't you buy a copy for yourself? She already had some of these things perhaps in Sanskrit, but she wanted in Tamil, specifically I think, for me to have them. So I went and bought some actually English translations of uh, Upanishads and so on. I brought them back home f during that trip. They sat in the shelves of our home we moved from Chicago to Richmond, Richmond to Charleston they must have come along with the movers they were put back in the shelf I never knew they, they existed I had forgotten that 
I had bought the books, never touched them. But in my 60s, perhaps I was in a, uh, the circumstances were not so easy and I must have looked for something to guide me. I picked up Bhagavad Gita and very skeptical about it and I started reading it. I started reading it from the chapter 7. And to be sort of disciplined about reading, I started posting my interpretations of that. And I continue to do that. It's the, the, the uh, desire, maybe not the right word, but desire to be disciplined about reading the Bhagavad Gita. I do this type of posts. But the point is that they sat in the shelves for 20 years. It's hard to teach new tricks to an old dog is a saying. But it has taught me a lot of tricks over time. So today's verses reminded me how reminding ourselves of these qualities to be wise can actually transform us step by step, small uh, advances. It may take forever, but there is progress. And that is what is keeping me going with this spiritual uh, quest.